Prior to British Columbia being colonized by the British, during the 1858 Fraser Canyon Gold Rush, indigenous peoples had been utilizing the land for several millennia. Following colonization, non-indigenous settlers also made the most of the park's plentiful resources. In 1886, when the city of Vancouver was incorporated, the land was transformed into the city's first park. Named in honor of Lord Stanley, the 16th Earl of Derby, a British statesman who had recently been appointed Governor General, the park was formerly known as Cole Peninsula and had been designated for military fortifications to safeguard the entrance to Vancouver Harbor. The Vancouver City Council successfully sought a lease of the park in 1886, which was granted for a nominal sum of $1 per year. In September 1888, Lord Stanley inaugurated the park in his own name. Stanley Park sets itself apart from other metropolitan parks by being the product of the organic evolution of a forest and an urban area, rather than the deliberate design of a landscape architect. Rawlings spearheaded the construction of most of the park's human-made structures between 1911 and 1937. Stanley Park, situated in Vancouver, is a world-renowned urban park that draws visitors from all corners of the globe. In the post-World War II era, further points of interest were established, including an aquarium, a miniature train, and a polar bear exhibit. Despite the modern additions, a vast majority of the park remains just as heavily forested as it was in the late 1800s. Approximately 500,000 trees make up the park, with some towering as high as 76 meters, 249 feet, and aged hundreds of years. Unfortunately, due to three significant windstorms over the last century, many trees were lost, and several had to be replanted, most recently in 2006.